Good day, everybody. How are you all? Hope you are doing great today. So this is the problem we are going to work on today. Find the mean and standard deviation of the following group data. So there are different classes and the corresponding frequency or counts in each class. So the first class is between 0 to 9, frequency is 13. Next class is between 10 to 19, frequency is 7. The third class is from 20 to 29, frequency is 10. The fourth class is from 30 to 39, frequency is 9. And the last class is from 40 to 49, frequency is 11. So the easy way to do that is do this is to first get, calculate the class midpoint of each class. Class midpoint. Midpoint. So let me correct that correctly. Yes, that a little bit and make sure it's everything is readable. Class. Okay. So let's see yes, this a little bit. Class mid point. So mid is same as middle. Is the middle point. Middle point means the center. is the center of each class, of each class, okay? So middle point is calculated like this. Is lower class Boundary, let me take more space to explain this. So I have to take more space. Midpoint. Is LCL of first class. plus LCL of second class. Divided by two. Oops. Let me fix that. Well, let me maybe I can start from here. So midpoint. LCL of class one plus LCL of class two. The whole thing is divided by two. Now what is LCL? Where LCL is lower class limit. Lower class limit. So midpoint of class one, midpoint of class one, of class one is equal to lower class limit of the first class is zero, as lower class li limit of the second class is 10, the first two numbers, zero plus 10 divided by two, is 10 divided by 2 is 5. Similarly, the midpoint of class 2 will be midpoint of the second class, which is 10, plus the midpoint of the third class, which is 20 divided by 2, or 30 divided by 2. 
equal to 15. Notice the difference in two midpoints. Difference in midpoints of class one. Let me reduce this a little bit. Midpoints of class one and class two is 10 is 15 minus 5 equal to 10. Now, if I move this a little bit up, class width is given by LCL, lower class limit of class 1, class 2 rather, class 2 minus lower class limit of class 1, which is 10 minus 0 is equal to 10. So the point I want to make is each midpoint midpoint of class 2 is separated from the midpoint of class 1 by 10 which is class width comma which is the class width and if i move this a little bit up this is true for all the classes true for all the classes What is true? Midpoint of each class is separated from the previous one, from the previous, from the midpoint of the previous class, of the previous class by class width by class width. So let me highlight this so that you remember midpoint of each class is separated from the midpoint of the previous class by class width. Okay, in this case 10. Okay, now let's move back to the problem. Okay, we already know the midpoint of the first class is 0 plus 10. 0 plus 10 divided by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. The next one midpoint is 10 plus 20 is 30 divided by 2 is 15. Difference between 15 and 5 is the class width, which is 10. So the next midpoint will be 15 plus 10, which is 25. Next one will be 25 plus 10, 35. Next one will be 35 plus 10, 45. We stop there. Now we have to work with TI-84 calculator. So let me write the steps. So using using ti 84 calculator 84 calculator enter midpoints in 
L1 and corresponding frequency in L2. Frequency in L2. Please do not quit right away. I'll give you some important tip at the end of this program. So please keep watching till the end of this program and please subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia, by hitting the red subscribe button because I've solved all kinds of stat problems just for you in my channel. So how do we do that in PI84? First, press the on button. So the first is do second button then plus button, then number four button. And you will get clear all list. Then press the enter button and you will get done in your calculator. This will lead to done. What is this doing? This is clearing the memories of the calculator. So second button, then the plus button. It is on the bottom right corner on top of the enter button. Plus, and then number four, which is number four button. And you get clear all list on your calculator. Hit enter button, says done. So it's done. That means the memories have been cleared. Now what do we do? Press the stat button. This is in the second row, stat button. Then press the number one button. So you have L1, L2, and L3, L4, etc. So you can move this up. So we will enter L1. L1 will be the midpoints or middle points of each class. And L2 frequency. So let's enter the midpoints in L1. Okay, so which are five. So you enter by column. So first column in L1, list one, 5, 15, 25, 35, 45. Then press the right cursor key on the bot on the top right corner, right cursor key on the top right of the calculator to move to the first line in L2 where you enter the corresponding frequency, 13, 7, 10, 9, and 11. Okay, so now we have entered uh, the midpoints in L1 corresponding frequency in L2. Okay, next step. So next step is number four. Okay, we press the start button. Stat button, then highlight with the right cursor key, calc on the top row. This is the top row, okay? And then number one, press number one key. Okay, the three lines in your calculator, first line is list, should be L1. It's already there, okay? Your frequency list next line should be L2. And this you have to enter after the cursor on the right. So you press the second button and then the two button, number two. Okay. Second button in the top left corner, then the number two button. 
So it gives you L2. Then you go down to calculate. Okay, go down to calculate and hit enter. Okay, calculate. And then uh, let me move this a little bit up. Put your cursor on calculate and then enter. Enter. So, your X bar is your mean is equal to 24.6. Your SX is sample standard deviation. Standard deviation. Deviation. And SX is equal to 15.113. Notice there is a sigma X after SX. There's a population standard deviation. We'll assume this is a sample, and therefore we will write the sample standard deviation SX as 15.1. Well, those are the answers we are looking for. Okay. Now the question is, uh, what was the hint I wanted to give you? Hint is first we have to correctly calculate the midpoint of each class. Remember, midpoint of each class is the lower class limit of the first class plus the lower class limit of the second class divided by two. And this way we will get five. And if we continue repeating it, we will see each midpoint is separated from the previous one by the class width, which in this case is 10. Okay, that's a point to note. And that's an important tip that each midpoint is separate from separated from the previous one by class width as is explained here. Midpoint of each class is separated from the midpoint of the previous class by class width. And what is class width? Lower class limit of class two minus lower class limit of class one, which in this case is 10. So I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. This will motivate to prepare more wonderful videos just for you. And if you like this video, share with your friend, you and your friends. Please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And you will be notified every time I upload a new video. So please do not hesitate to ask me a question if you have any question. Otherwise, please subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia. And I'll be back tomorrow with another important problem, important solution. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.